up mga kamath 22 again i am jake avila and in this video we will continue the discussion on quadric surfaces after the presentation you will be able to sketch the graph of an elliptic paraboloid ready na ba kayo may lapis at papel ka na ba kung meron na tara simulan na natin In this exercise, we want to sketch the portion above the xy plane of the elliptic paraboloid with equation 2z equals 16 minus 4x squared minus y squared. Notice that when we divide both sides by 16 in the given equation, we get 2z over 16 or z over 8 equals 16 over 16 or 1. And then negative 4x squared over 16, or negative x squared over 4, and negative y squared over 16. So we get the equation z over 8 equals 1 minus x squared over 4 plus my uh, minus y squared over 16. From here, we want to identify the sufficient traces to sketch the graph. So to find these traces, we look at the equation. Given, so our goal is to eliminate each variable using an appropriate choice of value. So to eliminate the term z over eight, we set z equals zero. So this gives us the plane z equal to zero or the x y plane. Next, to eliminate the term negative x squared over four. We set x equal to zero, so we have the plane x equal to zero or the y z plane. Lastly, to eliminate the term negative y squared over sixteen, we set y equal to zero, so we get the plane y equals zero or the x z plane. Thus, the traces that we want are the three coordinate planes: the x y, y z, and the x z. Plane. Again, we start with the traces that are ellipses. So in this case, we start with the trace on the x y plane. So here we set z equal to zero on the given equation and move the terms negative x squared over four and negative y squared over sixteen to the left hand side, so that we get x squared over four. Plus y squared over 16 equals 1. So this is an ellipse with center at the origin. Looking at the denominators, since 16 is greater than 4, the vertices correspond to a shift on the y variable. So we get 0, 0 plus minus square root of 16, 0, or the points 0 plus minus 4, 0. To get the other two points, we have zero plus minus square root of four, zero zero, or the points plus minus two, zero zero. After this, we plot the four points in the three D space, so we get the ellipse by connecting these points. Here we have the usual orientation of the coordinate axis. Where the z-axis points upwards, the x-axis points towards you, and the y-axis points to the right. So to get uh, the ellipse, we follow the animation and stroke a thin line passing through the four points. So we now move on to the second trace. For the trace on the yz plane, we set x equals zero. So from here, we get z over eight equals one minus y squared over sixteen. If we multiply both sides of this equation by eight, we get z equals eight minus y squared over two. This is a parabola with vertex at the point zero zero eight. So to get the y-intercepts on the yz plane, we set z equals zero. So we solve the equation: zero equals eight minus y squared over two. 
So moving 8 to the other side and multiply both sides by negative 2, we have the equation y squared equals 16. Taking the square root on both sides, we have the solution y equals plus or minus 4. So from here, we get the points 0 plus minus 4, 0. Plotting these three points, we have the following. So to get the graph of the parabola, we just connect these three points. Lastly, we consider the trace on the xz plane. So for this trace, we set y equals 0. So we are left with z over 8 equals 1 minus x squared over 4. Again, multiplying both sides by 8, we get z equals 8 minus 2x squared. So this trace is a parabola with vertex at the point 0, 0, 8. And the x-intercepts are the solutions to the equation 0 equals 8 minus 2x squared. When we move 8 to the other side and divide both sides by negative 2, we get x squared equals 4. Taking the square root on both sides, we have x equals plus or minus 2. Hence, we have the points plus minus 2, 0, 0. Plotting these three points on the 3D space, we have the following. Again, here the uh, previous traces are already drawn. So to get the last trace, we connect these three points. So we get the parabola. Now, from our, uh, from our sketch so far, we identify the portion of the traces that are inside or are covered by the surface. So for these portions, we replace the solid lines by broken lines after labeling all the necessary and important points. So uh, this is now the final sketch of the elliptic paraboloid. So here is uh, an animation that illustrates the uh, graph of the elliptic paraboloid in the 3D space. So this ends the solution for exercise 2. In the next video, we will sketch the graph of a cone.